Hello everyone, it's Charlton, and the body cam footage is out for, uh, for portions of it. So, and I continue to believe that it was Stephen Paddock, I do, and this just reinforces that for me, and actually, it, uh, you know, watching the officers go into this situation, it's two different officers' body cams, um, I'll get to that in a second. Um, but it just changes my perspective. They seem like a good bunch of guys, man. And they're going into a very scary, dangerous situation. You know, it just changes your perspective on things. Definitely. Before I get started, though, I really wanted to mention JB. JB's one of my favorite persons on YouTube. He's a really good guy. And, uh, and I just strongly recommend people go to subscribe to his channel. Check him out. He knows Vegas inside and out. Big time. Way better than I do. Every last detail. Really. And he knows it by, by memory. So, um, anyways, I'm just going to play various things that I thought, you know, that I just kind of found. And uh, I don't know if, know if I'm going to comment too much. Although, there's one here where they mention a vibrator. I'm just going to say that in, in advance so you can listen for it. And it just, I, I played at least 15 times just to make sure. I'm like, did he say vibrator? And I think he means, you know, the, 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 the sex toy, which would indicate a visitor. I mean, it should. Um, and there were reports of him soliciting prostitutes. And there was a report early on of him playing, playing video poker with a prostitute. And they, they had confused that with Marilyn Danley. Here he's actually looking at an ID uh, that I believe he's, he's, that is uh, her, her player's card or something like that. He's tracking it back to the address of Mystique. And, I mean, the whole time, once they've isolated the threat Stephen Paddock and put it down or, you know, or, or it's, it's, you know, neutralized by, by he, him commun committing suicide, then they're trying to make, make sure he wasn't working with anybody else. And they're, fielding, they're responding to the reports that are coming in, and they're coming in from all over the place. And they talk about that here. Um, and that's kind of why I queued up what I did. Um, but you can see that's what they're that's what they're doing. So let's just play and name I gave you shares an address with a suspect. We can give you that address if you uh if we need to send the units there. That's one three seven two Babbling Brook Court and that's Mesquite, Nevada, Babbling Brook Court. I mean, that's what he says, right? I mean, just, just, I mean, that would indicate a visitor. That doesn't mean there's a conspiracy with some other person that was involved. It just would mean somebody else visited the room besides just Stephen Paddock if it was, you know, well, it wouldn't mean that necessarily, but still it might indicate that. Anyways, let me continue. All right, here is actually them going through the halls. I picked out stuff from various places. There was a total of, all right, the the body cam footage comes from two different officers, Joshua Bitsko and um, uh, David Newton. It's it's two members of the strike team. Levi Hancock didn't have have his uh, his his body cam uh, turned on, and he was the first person to enter the uh, the suite when they breached the room. But actually, that's talked about in the video here, and I'm going to play that portion of it for you. So, and it was just, uh, you know, I mean, they're going into something where you know they're facing death, and uh, it's just, it's just not a priority, you know. And he actually, I think it's this person who a lot of the footage. I think the person we just saw was Joshua Vitsko, and most of it is of him that I've pulled up. You know, he says, "Well, don't worry about it. I have my whole mind on the whole time." So, uh, anyways, but. Uh, I think there's a total of two hours of footage that was provided, or it was two hours per office or something like that, broken up into half-hour clips that were given to news outlets, and they just picked out, you know, what they thought was, um, you know, the most pr pr appropriate to present. I looked at BuzzFeed, I looked at KT, uh, KTNV, KSNV, I think it is, KSNV. Yes, KSNV, and that's what we're going to watch right here, where they're actually going room to room through the hall, uh, before they've breached, you know, basically, uh, you know, uh, making sure it's secure, something like that, where they're going up, I think. They want to come out behind us. Wow. 
Watch out for blue on blue. Watch out for officers. Here is another portion of the clip where they're actually talking about this guy saying, I think it's just one dude. I'm getting the, you know, that's what I'm, I'm seeing here. I'm seeing somebody that's just swapping out weapons, not reloading one dude, but they do talk about calls coming in from other places. Um, you know what, before I even get to that in the same clip, I forgot about it. This is where he mentions the Bellagio. So, um, you know, that's clearly him saying they just said a man with a rifle walking into the Bellagio. I think it's just confusion, but, you know, I'm just presenting it, you know. And uh, back to this. This is where they're discussing, you know, what uh, what about all these other reports? And um, and this person gives his opinion that he thinks it's just one dude. And I, kind of, I agree. Are we hearing any more 434 or so who's calling him in? Because this guy's this guy's been four nineteen for a minute. This guy's been four nineteen for a minute in here. So who's calling these in? I wonder. No, he's open like this. Yeah, he has a um, he has an intricate camera system set up out to this, so he knew when officers were coming down the hallway. Doesn't alert us until not opening it. Okay. 
Corey Hooker, are you in touch with CP? I'm really thinking this is just a one-guy thing. But what about all the other calls? Is that just people panicking people bringing out? Or something? Phones with radio chips. Levi, do you have any scoped weapons over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Scoped weapons? Because he was blasting out of the window. Trajacon. He was blasting out I mean, this one is the five scope and a mic pad. There's probably, there's this whole suitcase full of loaded yeah. BK Max. I didn't turn my goddamn camera off. Mine was on. It got everything you did. Dude, I counted 13 long hits. Oh, yeah. This one right over by the window that he was, uh, sitting with. All right, man. There's a lot said in there, but, uh, I think it was Paddock. I do, and I believe uh, I believe that's the case, man. That's what I think. All right, thanks for watching my videos, man. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll keep following it, but uh, that's what I think. Give me a like down below if you want, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.